Thomas doing your kitchen floor this morning. Only Mr. Murphy, no, 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 right. well, he was I'm going all over the place. It is about something quite different that I wish to discuss oh. with you. Uh, if it can be private. Oh, well, yes, Doctor. Come to the woodshed with me. Do you remember that last week you were so kind as to let me take certain measurements of your head? Oh, with them strange pincer things. I'm not likely to forget a thing like that. Well, I've been studying the results, Grammar, and I can tell you that you have a very large organ of a brain. A woman's brain is four, usually four ounces less than a man's. But yours is man's size. Most remarkable specimen. Oh? Something to be right proud of, for sure. Now, Grammar. Am I right in thinking you've no kith or kin left you? Oh, that's right, Doctor. My daughter went to Australia after she was married, and my second husband died of a fever. What became your first husband? Disappeared into a storm one night, 25 years ago. So I don't suppose he'll show up now. No one to worry over your remains, then, when your soul has passed off. How would you feel about being of use to your fellow man after you've gone? Oh, I thought I might, but I don't see how. By donating your most marvellous brain to science. There would be a, a small sum of money in return, of course. In fact, I personally will advance you ten pounds if you will sign the necessary papers. How about it, Grandma? See no harm in it. Oh, ten pounds, you say? The money will be very useful to me. Make it fifty. <laughs> <laughs> you use that organ wisely, Grandma. <laughs> Twelve pounds, and we'll settle it now. All right then. <laughs> <laughs> I shall keep you waiting many a year yet. I'm sure you will, Grandma. I'm sure you will. Oh, Grandma. Shall I tell you something? I've been here three months in the Hintox, yet I don't seem to get many patients. There's scarcely any society at all. I tell you, I should go melancholy mad if it was not for my books and my laboratory. I was made for higher things, Grandma. Oh, Doctor! You shall live to my time of life, and you see how clever you were at 25. <laughs> I'll try and get up and do your kitchen floor in the morning. I'm just a bit busy now. Miss Grace comes home this evening. Good day, Doctor. Good day, Grandma.